Clinton Middle School and welcome back to your TV show, HMS Today. I'm your host, Aya Curdy. This is a packed episode, so let's jump right in with a minute with the principal. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. This morning, I'd like to talk about changes for HMS that will be starting on Tuesday, January 19th. Although I sent an email to you and your parents on Wednesday, I wanted to take the time to review the important parts of this change here. First, as I mentioned in an email to you on Wednesday, this is a change that is taking place in schools across the state as a result of a new regulation approved by the Massachusetts Board of Elementary and Secondary Education. Because of that regulation, we are required to build a schedule so that all students can receive live instruction every day. In order to do that, we had to make changes to our schedule that will take place this Tuesday. As you will see in this schedule, we are shortening our homeroom period to five minutes, the way it was back in pre-COVID times. We've reduced lunch and mask break by one minute and reduced each period of the day by one or two minutes. These reductions allowed us to create a 45 minute Hiller block that runs from 105 to 150 each day. A few key things to be aware of with this new schedule. It's for all of our students, those of us in hybrid, remote, or five day models. You probably noticed that we no longer have cycle day one or cycle day two. If you didn't, hopefully you will now. We will no longer swap A and G periods. A period will begin after homeroom. We'll begin each day at 725 with a national anthem, pledge of allegiance, and a moment of silence, but we'll wait until 1.10 in the afternoon to do our daily announcements during Hiller. Speaking of Hiller, a few things about the new Hiller block. Students in our remote track will continue to utilize Hiller block as they have been up to this point. Hybrid students on their at-home days are required to log into a Zoom during Hiller block. That's from 105 to 150. We will be taking and tracking attendance. This chart illustrates how Hiller block will work for our hybrid students. As you can see, grades 6, 7, and 8 students will meet with their A block on Monday. Students who are here in, in school can expect to see their A block teacher arrive to their classroom. Students who are at home will be logging into their A block teacher Zoom. The teacher that you will be seeing on each day then varies by grade level as illustrated in this grid. Your academic teachers will share links with you so that at home students can access their Zoom on the assigned day. In school students should be certain to have earbuds or headphones with them. I hope all of that makes sense. I'm sure that you have many questions about this new schedule, with which Mrs. Ben Benick, Mr. Ocampo, and I are happy to answer. Feel free to email us or reach out to us in any way. Finally today, I'd like to recognize the reason that we don't have school on Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Despite 2020 being a trying year, there were many inspiring positive stories of people helping one another. As we enjoy a day off on Monday, please keep in mind the words of Dr. King. Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? I hope you will join me in putting Dr. King's words into action. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much. And coming up next is a fan favorite phenomenal fun facts with our own Mr. Rockwood. Take it away. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Phenomenal Fun Facts. Madame Marie Curie was the first woman to be awarded a Nobel Prize. As a matter of fact, she remains the only person to ever earn two Nobel Prizes, both in different sciences. First in 1903 in physics as a co-recipient, and later in 1911 for chemistry. Best known for her work in radiation. After all, she discovered the elements polonium and radium. Did you know that the ampersand symbol is formed from the letters in the word et, et, et is the Latin word for and. Remember, there is nothing so strong in this world than the trust in yourself. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and read a fantastic book this weekend. That was great, Mr. Rockwood. Recently, I shared a few pictures I took doing work for class. Now I'd like to bring you a segment with some more. I hope you enjoy. Have you taken any pictures related to your HMS work? Send them along to us. We'd love to share them with the school community. But right now, 
Elizabeth has a quick reminder for us. Hi, it's Miss. It's Elizabeth. You know how I was talking about the newspaper last week? Yeah, the newspaper website is now out. Go check it out. And that is all. And I might see you later today, it's Miss. Bye. Make sure you check out their site. I guess you could call Cap TV our version of news you can use. Well, kinda, right? Hope you like that. And now it's time for the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, and that's it for HMS today. Keep in touch. Tell us how you're doing and send us photos, videos, and jokes. We're at HMS TV at Hillers.org and online at HMS.today. Take care, everyone. See you next time.